Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick 10 minute lower body burner. So how this is gonna work, we're gonna be doing 10 different exercises, Five of them are going to be standing up and five of them are going to be on the ground. And each exercise we're going to be doing for 45 seconds on with a 15 second break. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so for the first exercise, we're going to be doing a three pull squat. So just come down to a squat and pulse three times and then stand up. And that's all we're going to do. It's pretty simple, but you know, when you're pulsing, it really just gets those muscles even more working and if you'd like a quick little warm-up before this I do have a 10 minute warm-up routine to just kind of quickly warm up all the muscles in your body before doing a workout stand. Alrighty, so for the next one, we're going to be doing some standing leg lifts to the side. So just pick a leg, and you're just going to lift it up and down. I'm going to start a few seconds, and let's go. So you really want to squeeze your inner thighs at the peak of your leg lift. And some of you might be higher than others, depending on your leg strength and flexibility. That's okay. This is also working a little bit of core to keep a little bit of balance. Also kind of a good oblique crunch in a way. But you really want to be squeezing your inner thigh and your glute. And you lift your leg up. And relax. And then we're gonna do the other leg. And this workout, it's really short and simple. So if you wanted to do it for a couple rounds, if you're doing leg day or whatever, you can totally do that. Cause it's just like a really great leg workout. So if you did it for like two, three rounds, start with the other leg, it'll really just get a good workout in there. It's also kind of working your outer thigh and hip. You don't wanna be like, jerking your head because that's going to be not really working your leg. You kind of just want to lift your leg up and the rest of your body stays pretty still. And like my leg doesn't go super high. That's just because like I don't have a ton of flexibility and so I'm not going to be kicking my leg up super high. So you know even if your leg doesn't get parallel to the ground that's completely fine. Just go as high as you can. Alrighty, so for the last exercise standing up, we're going to be doing a curtsy, curtsy lunge to a side lunge. So go into a curtsy lunge like this, and then rotate to a side lunge. So curtsy lunge, you're curtsying down kind of like this, one leg is behind the other, and then a side lunge, one leg is straight, the other one is bent. I love these two moves put together, they just kind of get your whole leg working. They're particularly good for your glutes, but also the quads and all the other leg muscles. You might lose your balance a bit. You wanna keep your core tight and that will help with your balance. Last one, and shake out your legs. Alrighty, so we're gonna repeat that on the other side. If your heart's getting a little bit higher, that's good. You can grab a quick drink in these 15 second breaks. And let's go. And you know, if you're doing like leg day, or arm day or whatever day. Um, I've made playlists on my channel of different parts. So I have a leg playlist, upper body playlist, and abs playlist, as well as full body workout playlist. So it's very easily organized for you. So 
losing my breath. So you can go on there anytime, depending on what exercise you're looking for. And it's all nice there and organized for you. Last one. Um, there you go. Relax. I'm going to grab a drink and then we're heading down to the ground. Alrighty, so for the first exercise on the ground, you're going to flip over and we're going to go into some glute bridges. So go onto your back and you want to plant your heels down very firmly and lift up your hips while keeping your abs engaged because if you don't let your engage your abs, you're going to start arching your back. So really pull your abs in, lift your hips up and pulse with your legs. And if this is like getting really hard, just leave your, leave your hips up, no, don't move your legs. But, you know, adding that pulsing is just going to add a little extra layer of intensity. Now lift your hips as high as you can while keeping your abs engaged. And the harder you push your heels down, the more it's going to be working. doing it some plank leg lifts. So what you're going to do is come into a high plank. You could also do this in a low plank. And all you're going to do is just live, lift one leg at a time like so. You want everything else to be straight and you're just lifting that leg. Now this is like a good full body move honestly, but it's particularly good for your glutes. flexing my foot that's gonna activate the glutes even more so if you point your toe it'll make it a little bit easier and lower down okay alrighty so for the next one we're gonna go on our hands and knees we're going to be doing some rainbow kicks. So kick your leg out to one side, lift up, touch the other side, up and back. We're going to stay on the same leg for the whole 45 seconds. You want to make sure that when you're doing this that you're only using your hips. So if you start to feel it in your back, just make sure that you're using your hips and not like letting using your back to launch yourself up. Keep your abs in tight. I keep saying that, but I think it just kind of goes hand in hand whenever you're doing an exercise to keep your abs in tight and that will just, your core is the core of everything. So no matter what exercise you're going to be doing, it's going to be connected. All right, so relax. I'm going to do that on the other side. So flip over. Position yourself. You can take a quick break, or a quick drink, and let's go. You want to really make sure to go high with these, and as high as you can, without feeling pain in your back. If you start to feel pain, you can bring it a little bit lower, but the higher you go, the more you're going to feel it in your glute. So, you know, just go as high as you feel comfortable while still making it challenging. For the last exercise of this workout, you know, it went by so fast, I feel like, um, you're just going to lift up into a reverse tabletop, bring your, knee, your hips to touch the ground, and come back up. And let's just keep going. Want to really squeeze your glutes at the top. And I can also 
feel this in my hamstrings. So this really just works the whole back side of your legs. Again, press in with your heels. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's workout. You know, it was really simple and really quick, but this is definitely gonna get your legs burning. And you know, if you didn't feel burned very much, why don't you go do it again? Or like I said, you can check out one of my other leg workouts. I'll link that playlist down below. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on Tuesday with my next workout. All right, guys, bye.